Today I'm going to be making banana pudding. To make banana pudding, you will need one package, 8 ounces of cream cheese, one can, 14 ounces condensed milk, one package of vanilla instant pudding mix, three cups of cold milk, I'm using 1%, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one 8 ounce tub of Cool Whip or a Cool Whip like food, four sliced bananas. These are unsliced as you can see. We will get to the banana slicing portion of this program in some amount of time in the future. I'm not sure. And a box of vanilla or vanilla wafers. And also you need a much more um, counter space than my kitchen has. First you're going to take your cream cheese and you're going to whip it. You also need a variety of bowls, knives, spoons, dishes, etc. You're going to put your cream cheese maybe into the bowl. Also, before all this, you wash your hands, of course. I just got cream cheese in my hair. You're going to beat the cream cheese until it's fluffy, which I'm going to do right now. Sorry for the noise. This isn't really working as all the cream cheese is stuck in the blades of the thing. I'm gonna pretend like that's good enough. Does that look good? Okay, after this we're gonna beat in the condensed milk. Look, I've never used this before while baking. I don't think I'm not even... Oh! But here, we're gonna put this in and then mix because I'm not that multi-task good. And put the pudding mix in there. Jell pudding. I know I should be mixing this in a little at a time, but I don't have the patience. So that's done. Three cups of milk. Which I think I'm going to put in the milk a little at a time because uh, it would go very bad if I tried to mix all that at once. So you have one teaspoon of vanilla. That goes in. And then we are going to mix this together while I slowly pour that milk in. Here we go. Uh, I'm not sure this is working right. This is really gross and does not look like a pudding or yogurt. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say that's good enough because I don't want to do that anymore. Fold in half of the whip topping, which is your Cool Whip. This is a no-bake dessert. Very convenient for uh, making during the summer when you don't want to turn your oven on because of the heat. Um, right now it's winter, so that doesn't matter. I'm gonna fold in half of the whip topping. Now folding in you must be very delicate with your technique otherwise you will undo all of the fluff that is naturally in there from the... Oh this has gotten a little more uh, pudding like now. I'm folding in um, very badly the whip topping. The bananas do not come into this until late in the game, unfortunately, so they're just kind of sitting on the sidelines now, waiting for their big shot. I'm going to let this sit and maybe melt a little bit, and I'm going to do the next thing, which is I'm going to line the bottom of a 9x13 baking dish. This, unfortunately, is only an 8x12 or so it seems, so hopefully everything will fit in here. Mm. I can't see this either. This is the bottom line with cookies. I think I'm only going to put bananas on half of this so that I can uh, eat the other half. So I have some bananas that are really ripe, like they're about to be thrown away ripe, which look like this, as you saw in my previous banana pudding yogurt video. I'm not sure if I can cut these up, but I'm going to try before I use these because I don't want to make have to make another banana food. But now. I showed you before, when it comes to overripe bananas, how to peel and, or rather, how to extract them and consume them. Uh, right now I'm just going to try to be as delicate as I can when opening this to not disturb banana shape. There we go, doesn't that look 
Doesn't that look great? Here's a knife, normally used for peanut butter jelly sandwiches, but throw away the gross butt part of the banana that <coughs> nobody wants to eat. Okay, that's one banana down. Covered approximately a quarter of the dish. Just rip that off. Get rid of this crap. Alright, so that's two bananas over, oops, a little more. Two bananas over about half of the, the mix. Maybe using fewer bananas will allow me to fit the pudding mixture in there better because it's a smaller pan than it's supposed to be. I'm going to fold this uh, cool whip in a little more. Nobody wants a chunky pudding. So the next step is to pour the uh, pudding mixture on. There we go. Get the rest of this out. I suppose that's good enough. I'm just gonna smooth this out over the entire. Oh, I spilled. Next and lastly, I'm gonna top with the remaining whipped topping. Oh, did you hear that? Okay. Just gonna spread this out, maybe. Do a little fence. Should have done this before I poured it in, but that's all the way. All right. All right. So, after 24 minutes and 56 seconds, this is the result. Um, now it's going to go in the fridge. Actually, I think I might crumble up. I saw a little bit of the crumbs for vanilla wafers. I'm going to crumble one up and put it on top. Oh, that looks nice. Here's a smooth color there. Beautiful. So here's the final product once again. I almost shoved it into my sink uh, faucet. Is it going to focus? Going into the fridge. I'll cover that later. So, that's how you make a banana pudding. A real banana pudding. How to make a pudding like a banana. Put the banana in the pudding. Vanilla pudding. Cool work. Vanilla pudding. Banana. That's it. Goodbye.